Yeah, look, on the loading screen, there's one of the things lit now. Cool. Yeah. Oh, people are actually out and about. We're we'll to put the beast legs in their place once for all the strong thrive the weak give way. That's just how the world works. Wow, that's what you're concerned about right now? Really? My goodness. I guess I'll go ahead and save here again. In some other news, I was mentioning earlier this stream that if the day ever does come that I do try to rematch Galdera, I'd probably just look up a bunch of stuff about what ways I should configure my party and stuff, and maybe it'd be possible. Maybe do some uh, searching out for some summons that I should get specifically for. I don't know. I don't know. But if I do have the time, I may try to do it before Fragapalooza. And then, uh, you know, try to beat up Galdero along with Guzma there. And then some interesting news when it comes to Fragapalooza stuff. Yeah, I mentioned that. That the, uh, I mentioned that even just on the last thing where Bob there. Um, <laughs> Ready to be anyway, brave. when it comes to, whoa, Frag there, some interesting fun Prepare stuff there. Yourself. I want to get my truck at the ready before that point. And if I can pass an out of province inspection, I will be able to have it at the ready before Fragapalooza, but barely. I got an appointment booked earlier today for the glass to be redone at this crystal glass place where apparently only the foreman can do it there because he's the only one that works on old vehicles like that. And uh, oh yeah, I'm going the right way then. And uh, I got it booked for August 1st. Company is arriving on August 5th. And so I booked the out of province inspection on August 3rd. So, you know, two days after the glass appointment there. So, it's gonna be cutting it close. I'm uh, gonna have a very, very brief amount of time for practice before company <laughs> arrives, <laughs> you know? And uh, Here I come. like before that point, I might try practicing just within like neighborhood roads and stuff. But assuming I pass inspection and nothing wacky happens, you know, if they're like, oh, your thing jig isn't working as it turns out. Everything should be working, assuming I'm able to pass inspection. I want to take that 1953 truck to Fragapalooza, pitch a tent in the box, and then that can be like sleeping accommodations for one. Probably shove Guzma back there. So we can beat Galdera some night late at night, maybe. And then when going to bed, I can just... Oh, okay, cool, sure. Let's proceed. When, uh... <laughs> when it's time to go hit the hay, just... Whoa! Just freaking, uh stuff him in a tent in the box of my truck from 70 years ago you know yeah <laughs> you know that now sounds uh, that sounds fun and like a uh, like a kind of thing for sleeping accommodations where it'd be the best story to tell later just like oh yeah i slept in a tent that was in the box of a uh, truck from 1953 you know like that'd be the best story to tell later so i guess this is a boss fight here then all right, let's just Ventral sure Blade. I should be able to wreck things considering this was my failed Galdera killing squad. You know? So, like... Yeah. Let's find out some weaknesses and stuff here. Let's see. And yeah, I feel like that'll probably be a good break for him there. You know, just uh, four days of going hardcore on gaming and stuff. Yeah, that's what it seemed like. I need to, uh, when I have time here, follow up with some stuff for him. Um, one of the uh, tracks for the game has a uh, acoustic guitar, and he was asking if I could try playing live. And he has sent me the sheet music now. I need to take the time to like practice at it and stuff. I could always, you know, just record like some notes and chords, and then use the power of video editing to put it together. I don't know how well this mic can record. This mic is great for voice, but it's not exactly great for, you know, a note that's fading out because it can only record down to so low so it'll be like you'll hear the note fading out and then just sudden cut at like a certain volume so like i'll try my best when i get the chance here but um i i don't know how well i can play and i don't know well i don't know i don't know how well this microphone will work but i'll do what i can for him there but yeah this is pretty much everything when it comes to the dev side of the project nice nice so working together on the uh keep it in the loop part then in that case um, do I really need to prayer for plenty, or should I just go ham on things, you know? What should I do? Here, let's see if they're weak to fire. But yeah. Yeah, it's always good to have second opinions on things. And all that. Definitely handy. Um, I don't know. Choose your next I can... Wait, do you know what I probably can do? Because his defenses are already lowered. 
I might just be able to, you know, screw it. I'll, I'll do this anyway. What if I just break him coming up here? All right, I whip out the anteater. Because, yeah, I'm very, very strong, so who cares? If I just whip out my anteater real quick, as one does. And uh, we will have to worry about the little guys, but not the big one. Oh no. I return your wrath twofold. And then. Okay. Where was I? <laughs> then we just like. Yeah. Oh, but I can't do this on a single target. Okay, never mind. Maybe I shouldn't have whipped up the Save anteater yet. Prey. These guys are kind of in the way. Okay. Well, that sucks, doesn't it? Ah, that's a little bit sucky. Gotta get those guys out of here first. Then I'll break. Oh, man. So, I can just do this here. Yeah, so I'll decrease your defenses, which I can do with Hikari. When I feel so inclined anyway. I won't I fight for my friend. So, oh, those guys are already almost down. This is probably not necessary at all, right? I should probably just do this then. Spear of the Warlord. Yeah. Yeah. This seems like a good idea. I return your wrath twofold. Yeah, we'll break him coming up here. Yeah, th this is fine. I return your wrath Bye. Twofold. Bring it on. Okay, well, then I'll whip out the ant eater in a hot second here. Yeah, I guess I can uh, do this for fun. I don't know. I don't want no trouble. Oh, we are just gonna wreck him in a hot second here. Oh dear. I guess I'll do this. How much health do you have anyway? No. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, well, let's um, let's pull my ant eater out of my pocket, emergency pocket ant eater. I love how he's saying the ant eater fights dirty. All right, yeah, I don't have to worry about that damage there. And then we go ahead and do that smack right there. There we go. And then it doesn't really matter what we do here. Poke. Yeah, the double poke thing we're Bob there of that weapon. Oh yeah, I, mean, I guess I can do this. Even get the ant eater uh, around the eastern side of the map, outside of the I forget what the name of the place is, but the place that you go for Agnia's final chapter there on the that place, just outside there, just in the wild. It's not even like some super crazy end game area. It's just. <laughs> Just some random anteater just there in the wild and stuff. Pretty crazy. All right, I don't think I need to do anything. not my turn. Well, I fight for my friends. I mean, I could like this, but I really don't think I need to. So I'll just not, and then won't heal, and then go right towards the next thing. You know. Acts of the line of heart. So uh, yeah, I. <laughs> There's no need for flattery. It'll rest my soul. Yeah, the uh, kind of strong considering I was literally trying to design the Galdera kill squad, so. All right, so that's the uh, hunter and the apothecary then. Wait, what happens if I pull out the thing now then? Nothing happened. Gaze upon the sacred flames dais. Okay, so this is why it gives us the option for formation at this point. Let's see here. So then we slap in Casty, and then we pull out the mirror. Mirror reflects the memories of the sacred flame. Oh, this isn't voice. The Scarlet Moon waxes, and the first flame wanes. At last, our great wish shall be fulfilled. Oh. <laughs> Owl that got evil. This that could have been the fox in it. Hunters and their prey. 
Just as cataracta fell to my bow. Just as Glacius's egg shattered before my might. The Dark Hunter sets forth once again, and my aim will not falter. Under the gaze of the Scarlet Moon, I shall fulfill the Great Wish. <laughs> you must be quivering with joy. For your time has come at last. <sighs> Ten years ago, I scooped you up. Let you live. It was all for this moment. The darkness in our hearts is fed by anger, hatred, resentment, and jealousy. Our basest instincts. As that darkness grows deeper, so too does the shadow grow powerful. Few can stand against a beast whose heart has been drowned in darkness. A beast such as you. Long have I waited for the darkness within you to become black as night. So that maddening flame could be smothered forevermore. With my lifeblood, I shall call down the night. Now then. <laughs> Make of my flesh an offering. And banish all that stands to oppose us. Give meaning to your miserable life. <laughs> Ah, oh, Arcanet. Well, I guess the second sacred flame burns anew. Did it show the in that flashback the flame dying out? That wouldn't line up timeline wise, but uh, you know, I guess it set it going out in motion at least. Yeah, so. Uh... So, that was the first flame, huh? Have you heard of it before? Yeah, it came to life inside me. It was comforting and warm. It was then that I decided I wanted to protect the island. I always felt you had a heart warmer than most. <laughs> now I think I'm ready to take on something even bigger. I'm ready to protect the whole world. That's what a hunter should do, after all. I feel the same way as you do. I want to extend a helping hand to everyone in need during this endless night. Hey, you're an apothecary everyone can count on. Now let's do it together. Let's keep everyone safe. Gladly, Ochet. I'm honored to have you by my side. Yeah, so it is each of the pairs. Yeah, let me do that. And then, yeah, so that's burning anew. And then next. So this one would probably be Agnia and Hikari. And he was our main hero, so. I don't know, let's do that one last then. Go do this one for now. So Fell Sun Ruins. Which I guess makes place makes place? Makes sense as a place for a thing to be. <laughs> 